Hey guys, the uh, Allison turbo prop is all done. Figured I'd give you a nice little showdown on it. Um, it's quite a massive piece. It's pretty cool actually when it's done. You got all the decals on. This one shows all the specifications, which is pretty cool. Got all the weathering and the dry brushing done. Here are some of the decals on the props. The props actually do still the turning. It does turn as well. But it kind of wanting to bind up on me, so I ain't going to play with it too much. All the doors still open. That way you can see inside all the gears and all that. So that one's open. This one comes completely off so you can just play it differently. You kind of just keys in like that. So that way you can see the internals. And you can see the internals on that. It's a very fun kit to build, quite time consuming, so if you want to do a nice detailed kind of long build, this would be a good one to do. Everything is pretty well put together still for how old of a tool this is. I think there's been some upkeep on it by Atlantis, which is pretty cool to have these back in circulation again. I mean this one was probably Reveal is probably never going to bring this one back. They're probably done with it. Never had a thought in their mind to relaunch something like this. So it's pretty cool that it was actually relaunched and brought back. And they're doing that with a lot of old kits that are cool and can't find them no more. I think this one's being sold on eBay as original before this one came out was quite high. door just kind of keys back in there. What? As you can see some of the details I put the, the chrome or gold fittings on. These are called electronics, so they're probably some bunch of sensors, so this is probably conduit. I went with gold, more than likely they might be the same color, you know, the silver, but I wanted some contrast. Down here was just flat black with a, the silver metallic dry brush on it to give it that um, black metal look. Then here I went from a light blue to a darker blue to um, a gold. Trying to do the transition to show all the heat in there. And then we're all metallic acrylic paints just dry brushed on there. And then on the outside. Make sure you can see it. Might be a little too much light. This area here is dry brushed with a lighter gold and then it started getting darker into an almost bronze color to show the, the heat and the carbon. And then I went over all this with a uh, dark gray wash, almost black. Highlight it and give all the shadows. So and up here and here, the, they're the same, they're kind of a camo tan. I 
did those as a base color and then I dry brushed over them with um, some mixed greens and some tans and then of course I did that over here before I glued any of this on because once all that stuff gets on there you ain't gonna be able to uh, get to it at all and then, then take his painted silver Same with these ducks, they're flat black with a little bit of silver dry brushed on it. And here's some more hoses. Of detail in this this kit. If you guys enjoy any kind of model making, it's something nice and different. At the end of this video, I have some detailed pictures, more up close. But that is it for this one. This is the final. I'll eventually do. Uh, oak board to mount this on so that way I can put it on the shelf but it's a pretty cool kit let's see if there's more engine kits coming out in the future by these guys rumors have it that there is be quite fun to build those as well so Till next time, I'll see you guys later.